All right, now I'm going to start working on my hybrid animal. I want to get to my pictures on Photoshop Elements so I could start merging pictures together. I'm going to go to My Documents on my desktop, and if it's not on your desktop, go to Start My Documents. So I'm going to go ahead and go to My Documents, and you'll notice I saved my pictures correctly as that video told me from the saving images. It is in my My Documents folder. This is my background picture. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on my background picture of the hawk, open with, and then I'm going to go ahead and go to Adobe Photoshop Elements. If it doesn't show up at the right click open with, I'm going to go ahead and go to choose programs, and then I'm going to click Adobe Photoshop Elements and click OK. If a window pops up, make sure you click Ignore Profile and hit OK. If it asks you to register, hit Do Not Register and then Close. If you decide to open up Photoshop Elements via the icon and you double click on the icon here, then make sure you Ignore Profile, um, Do Not Register or Don't Ask Again, Close, and then make sure you hit the orange Edit button. All right, I have my background picture. Make sure your layers show up. If it doesn't, click this arrow right here, and I have my layers. Make sure you show your projects bin. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click that arrow down there. I could see that the background picture of the hawk that I first opened up is there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move this out of the way so I can bring in my other picture. I'm gonna click on My Documents, and I'm just gonna go ahead and drag this next picture into the Photoshop Elements. So I click, left click and drag, and I put it in the Projects bin. And you'll notice the hourglass lets me know that it's loading. All right, here's my other picture of a dog head. I'm gonna take this dog head, and I wanna put it in the background picture, uh, the head in front of the hawk. So the way I'm going to do that is use the lasso tool. If you notice, in parentheses, L is the shortcut for the lasso tool. So I'm going to press L on my keyboard. If I accidentally press L an extra time, you'll notice this funky lasso tool, which I don't want. You'll notice, if I hit L again, a magnet for the magnetic lasso tool, which I don't want. And then I have the regular lasso tool by hitting L again. I'm going to want to not capture cattle, because I'm not on a ranch, but I'm in Photoshop, so I'm gonna capture the head of this dog. But don't get ahead of yourself. Take your time, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and click and drag, so I'm left clicking with my mouse and dragging and moving my mouse so I can roughly get the dog head. Did you see what I did there? Roughly, pun intended. All right, sorry, I'm barking up the wrong tree with these bad jokes. I don't wanna end up in the dog house, people, okay? All right, I'll stop. Throw me a frickin' bone here. Okay, I have the selection, which I just kind of dragged out, a, basically like a circular um, lasso around the dog head. And you'll notice I have dancing ants when I released the mouse button. I'm going to want to cut this head out, or copy it, I should say. So I'm gonna hit Control C to copy. Control, hold down the control, and hit Press C. And if you notice, it turns into a scissors when I hit Control C. Then I'm gonna go ahead and go to the hawk with the background in place. I'm gonna hold down control and hit V as in victory. Control, hold down control and V, and it pastes the, the dog head which I just previously cut. If you notice that the dog head is a large picture, make sure when you're saving your images you follow along that you had a large picture. If it was small, you don't want to make it larger, otherwise it will get pixelated. If it's large, you can always make it smaller. That's okay. All right, so I have the dog head, and I'm going to go ahead and move it with the Move tool. Here is the Move tool. The shortcut for the Move tool is good. In parentheses, you see the V, as in victory. All right, I'm in the Move tool, and I'm going to go ahead and move that dog head in the correct spot. Now, you notice you can shrink it down, okay, which is fine by going to the corner and you see the two arrows 
and I could shrinking it down a little bit. And then you can go to the near the corner and you'll see like kind of like a curve with two arrows. That way I can kind of rotate it. This is called free transform. You can do this in the move tool. That's okay. Now let's say I've got it and I'm ready to go and I want to do something else. This is a mistake that people make. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going to go ahead and click something and oh no, my computer hates me. It won't let me do anything. I do, it doesn't like me, Mr. F. No, it loves you. It's, you just have to make sure you're telling it the correct thing to do. So what you need to do, you're still in the free transform tool. You just have to double click on that square or hit the check if you want it or the do not if you don't want it. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the check or double click on the square. And that way, now I can move between tools. The next tool I'm going to want is the eraser tool. You'll notice the shortcut for the eraser tool is E for eraser. And you can see that I have a little brush there. I'm going to go ahead and select a more solid brush. This looks a little blurry. I want more of a solid edge. So I'm going to go ahead and select this 19 and just click off of it. And I have a brush here with a solid edge. I'm going to hold control plus, hold control then hit plus, and we have a zoom in. The next thing I'm going to do is make my brush size larger. Now you could go over here and futz with it all you want, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it a different way. You'll notice by the backspace on your keyboard and just go diagonally left from the backspace and you'll see two little uh, brackets. It's to the left of the backward slash keyboard key. Now you'll see a left bracket, which makes it smaller, and a right bracket, which makes it larger. I'm going to go ahead and hit the right bracket a couple times to make it larger. Maybe one time smaller, left bracket, and I have a brush size that I want. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and click, left click, and just start erasing some of that white space. Now if you want a really nice shortcut to make a really super cool straight edge, you just click, left click, hold the shift key, and left click again. And you'll notice it makes a really good straight edge. Click, hold the shift key, and then left click again. Click, hold the shift key, and then left click again. So I'm going to go through and just keep clicking and holding the shift key. And I'm just going to make a nice little erasing of the white background. Now if you have, it's okay if you have um, an image for the background, you could just do the same thing and erase the image. It doesn't have to necessarily be what, uh, have to be white. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and erase all of the background of this image on the dog head because I want to get ahead in this project. If you notice, I could shrink down the the brush by hitting the bracket. Now let's say I accidentally hit the caps lock. You get a targeting and I can't see my brush. So hit the caps lock again and that solves that problem. All right, I'm clicking, left clicking and holding the shift key and then just clicking again. Click, hold the shift key, clicking again. Let's say you make a mistake. Click and you're like, oh no, I've killed it. I'm just going to hit control Z and I undo and it's back to normal. So the dog is okay. So don't fret. The cool thing about computers is you can always undo what you do. Okay. Really kind of cool. So I'm just getting rid of this white back ground. in a nice kind of fashion. Hold the shift key and then I'm just going to go ahead and make my bracket a little bit larger so I can get rid of this excess stuff. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and move this over. All right. Yeah. Who let the dogs out? Mr. F. Mr. F. Mr. F. All right. I'm going to zoom out a little bit and you'll notice I want to move it, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the shortcut for the move tool, which is V. Very good. V is in very good. And I'm going to go ahead and rotate it to how I'd like. Okay, very nice. All right, double click on it or hit the check, and we're good.
The next thing I'm going to do is kind of fluff up the edges by using a blurry brush. So I'm going to go ahead and go with the eraser tool because I'm going to erase some of the edge and use a blurry brush to make this furry effect. Okay, because he's a furry animal. All right, so I just cl click on a blurry brush. We've got blurry brushes here. The edges look blurry. I'm just going to click off that and I'm just going to go ahead and make my brush size just a little bit bigger. Whoops. If you notice, it's weird. It's blue. I made a mistake. I was on the background layer. Okay, you got to make sure when you're erasing that you're on the correct layer. A good lesson for everyone to know because I just wanted to test you to make sure you weren't making that mistake. Yeah, that's it. All right, so I'm on the correct layer now and I'm going to go ahead. I have the blurry brush. I'm just going to go ahead and click those edges to kind of fluff it out. All right. So the dog looks, oops, that didn't look good. It looks like he's missing a part of his ear, so I don't want to get too much. All right, and then maybe get rid of that little white spot there, right, and fluff it out. There's a little bit too rough of edges. I'm furring it out to make him, oops, hit Control Z to undo. Um, let's make it a little bit smaller here. Uh, we don't want too much of a pointed edge, so we're just gonna f make it furry. Right? He's almost like, yeah, I just want to hold you, you furry dog. You're so much fun. All right. And we've got the dog with a furry-like effect. So we have no sharp, super sharp edges. Really kind of nice. So I'm just going to kind of let you tweak your animal as I work on my dock. And, um, I'll show you a couple more tutorials on some really cool things on making your animal hybrid with another animal. And this is just one aspect. So I hope you enjoyed this video on um, cutting the dog head and pasting it onto the hawk background. Um, pick, do, use your pictures to do something really neat and fun and exciting because um, Mr. F wants to see it. Um, there's more tutorials to come. Enjoy.